I just picked up the Rode Wireless Pro and I'm already excited for how these might open up some possibilities in my production workflow. I was messing around with them yesterday and realized they could actually be perfect for a job I'm filming this weekend. I'm gonna be filming run and gun event coverage of Labor Fest up in Madison, Wisconsin. I'll be working with Izzy, who will be conducting impromptu man on the street style interviews with festival attendees, asking them questions about their unions, why workers' rights are important, their favorite part of the festival, etc. After the event, I will be editing together a highlight video that they can use to promote next year's Labor Fest. So I want to capture everything that I need for my usual workflow, and that means 4K, 10-bit, log footage with high quality audio, etc., etc. But a secondary goal for this project is to be able to hand over all my files to Izzy at the end of the day so that they can do their own edits throughout the year. But if I just handed someone all my 4K log footage who isn't a video nerd like me and said, here you go, that's not super helpful, right? They're gonna get these massive video files and think they look like garbage because it's all low contrast and desaturated. And then there's the problem of syncing up the externally recorded 32-bit audio files, needing to process them so they actually sound good. And that's just not feasible for a non-video nerd. What a non-nerd needs is footage that looks and sounds good straight out of the camera, so they don't need to do any color management or audio editing on their end. So what do I do? Do I compromise on the nerd end, sacrificing my precious 10-bit log footage so it's more accessible for non-nerds? Absolutely not, never compromise. So here's the cool part of the video and what I'm excited about. Now we know the parameters. Number one, capture high quality footage and audio for pro use. And number two, record it all so it's accessible straight out of the camera. I'm going to be filming this event with my Canon C70, which has the ability to record proxy files with a color transform applied to its second card slot as it captures high quality 4K log footage on the primary card. Boom, perfect. Footage problem solved. At the end of the day, I can just hand all of the files on the second card to Izzy, and they will have 1080p video files that are already converted to a Rec. 709 color space. But what about sound? That's where the Rode Wireless Pro comes in. I'll be running both transmitters on the day, one as a lav mic on Izzy the whole time, and one as a handheld mic that they can use to interview folks. I've set the transmitters to adjust gain automatically, and each transmitter is being recorded on a separate channel going into the C70 using the 3.5 millimeter connection. I've also configured the road button on the receiver to be a record trigger for the transmitters themselves, so I can hit that and both transmitters will be recording 32-bit audio internally that I can use for my purposes later. So that's great, high quality footage and audio recorded simultaneously, along with immediately usable proxy files with the microphone audio baked in. I've got one more trick up my sleeve for this setup. What about TikTok, YouTube Shorts, etc.? It kind of seems like videos recorded on a phone feel better on vertical video platforms, even if a Canon C70 might technically look better. So we're recording interviews on a phone too. Introducing phone two. So now I've got a phone clip on top of my C70 that can rotate horizontally or vertical, so let's be honest, it'll be recording vertically. And the audio from the Rode Wireless Pro is going into the C70 using the 3.5 millimeter, but it's also running into the phone using the USB output. So at the end of the day, we'll have the nerd level footage for me to do my thing, the high impact editing thing on it, as well as 32-bit audio recorded on the transmitters. We'll have proxy footage with color transform and microphone audio baked in, and we'll have vertical phone footage with microphone audio. Of what's going on with their campaigns and why they come to this event. I'm pretty excited about this setup. Hopefully this is the best of three worlds where I don't need to compromise quality at the top end and non-nerds can get what they need to do low impact edits for social media. Look, sometimes when you're breaking new ground, your shovel gets stuck. Sometimes when you're pushing the envelope, your envelope gets stuck. I went to Labor Fest and filmed everything exactly as I outlined in this video. And for the most part, everything turned out great. I got everything that I needed on the pro end. I got the 4K log footage that was 10 bit, et cetera, et cetera. The vertical video phone situation turned out great. The Rode Wireless Pros performed fantastic, it was plug and play, and they sounded great. And the proxy files that I recorded with the color profiles baked in, 
those looked and sounded great as well. And their file size was only about 14% of the larger 4K 10-bit versions. But, 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 but the MXF files that the C70 recorded for both the main and proxy files are not quite as plug and play as I hoped, and I should have seen this coming. At the end of the day, we transferred all the proxy files over to Izzy's computer, and it was only like eight gigabytes, which was awesome, but the MXF files are just not able to be opened. It just is a bunch of unusable files, even though they're lightweight, and on my end, they look and sound exactly as I tested them. So it's not a big deal. I just transcoded the proxy files into H.264 and uh, sent those to them the next day. Uh, but the whole, I'm gonna transfer you the proxy files at the end of the shoot day, so you can just start editing clips for social media right away. Uh, that whole workflow wasn't instantly accessible. C70 owners might know that you can dedicate the second card slot to not proxy recording, but sub recording, and that will record the main card slot in XFAVC and the second card slot in your choice to like an MP4, for example. But the problem with that is that those sub recordings don't have the color profile baked in at that point. So it's either MP4 or have the color profile baked in, but in MXF. So my potentially very niche wish for the next C70 firmware update is the ability to record on the main card slot in XFAVC, 4K, C log, all of that, but on the second card slot, be able to record the same thing with the color profile baked in, in MP4, in an H.264 video codec. So that way, at the end of the day, I can actually hand over that footage on the second card slot and a non-nerd will be able to actually open those files and start editing them. I also understand that my efforts with this whole video might be a little confusing to some viewers. Like, why am I trying so hard to reduce my involvement as much as possible? Why am I just trying to completely cut myself out of the video editing process that I could get paid for otherwise? Listen, this was a volunteer job. Izzy's a pal. I'm not gonna do this for just anybody, okay? So if you're Mr. Moneybags and you're watching this thinking that you're gonna get one over on me by telling me that I gotta hand over my footage at the end of the day because anybody can edit it now, guess what? You got another thing coming. I'm charging you double now. You remember this clip? Never compromise. That's how I'm doing business with you. All right, I think I got a little bit riled up after Labor Fest this year. Uh, my rates are very reasonable. I would love to work with you. Please visit brandnewextragood.com for more information. All right, back to the conclusion. I'm really liking the Wireless Pro so far, but I do have one complaint. It looks goofy as a handheld microphone. Maybe I can do something to it to disguise it a little bit more, but right now I am a little bit concerned. Viewers will be somewhat distracted by this device that's in the frame. Beyond that, it seems really cool, and I can't wait to actually try it on this job. Thanks for watching. Garbo Truck.